Hi everybody and welcome back to Connect With Pets. My name is Megan and today we're going to be talking about hares versus rabbits. We're gonna give you some tips on how to identify what is a hare versus what is a rabbit. And then at the end, we're going to be making our very own rabbit digging box, which I'll explain in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the difference between a hare versus a rabbit. Take a look. In general, hares are much larger than rabbits. They have larger ears, feet, and stronger back legs, which typically makes them faster. Hares also change color in the winter to white to help them better camouflage. And finally, their babies are born with fur and their nests are found above ground. Rabbits, on the other hand, are usually more social animals, smaller and slightly weaker. Their babies are born blind without any fur. Domestic rabbits can be differentiated from wild rabbits by their variety of colors and sizes instead of just brown. All right, now, just because rabbits live in our homes doesn't mean they don't still like to do things that they would in the wild. It's very common for rabbits to be foraging for food just underneath and they dig a little bit underneath the surface. So today we're going to be making a digging box, a great way for them to express natural behavior but in a safe and controlled environment. So the things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a box, okay? If you've got a smaller friend, you'll want something a little bit smaller and a taller one if you've got a bigger bunny at home. But you wanna make sure they can hop in and out of it easily and it's enough that they can turn around inside. Next, you'll wanna grab some scrap paper, okay? No inky or glossy things, just regular paper and you're gonna cut them into strips. You can also fill it with toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls as well. Enough that you'll be able to fill the box. Then to make it more exciting and give them a little bit of extra something, you can also add treats. A really great treat is actually a carrot. They're high in sugar, so you wanna make sure you're only using small amounts and it's a special treat, but you can hide them in the bottom and it gives them something to dig for. So. First things first, we're gonna make sure that this box is an appropriate height for our rabbits. It's a little tall right now, so I'm gonna shrink it down just a bit. All right, so this should be a good height that my bunny should be able to hop over that no problem. And I've already started putting things inside, but all you're gonna do is take some paper and you're gonna either shred it or cut it into strips. These strips, you want them about finger width apart, okay? That way it's not too small that it isn't a choking hazard, but that they're big enough to actually dig through. Now what I also like to do after I cut some strips is I like to crumple them just a little bit. This just makes it so it's not boring straight lines the whole way through. So if you just crumple, and you can even just crumple the whole thing at once, makes it more messy, chaotic, and it gives them some more excitement to dig. So I've got some toilet paper rolls in the bottom. And we've got paper all on top. So. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide my treats inside. You only need a few, and then we're gonna go test it out. Take a look. This is Snow White. She's a super outgoing and very friendly bunny who we thought would be a great tester for our digging box. As you can see, she's slowly starting to figure it out. Your rabbit may be unsure at first, and that's okay. You can put a treat on top near the front of the box to help them be more interested. Let your rabbit explore the box at their own pace and do not pick them up or force them into it. That way they feel more comfortable and gain confidence. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we will have more content coming for you shortly. Bye for now.